Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We're trying something new today. We are painting a bog standard Necron. This is the quickest I can paint a Necron. So join me on this ride. It is going to be the standard Necron scheme, i.e. silver, dark gun, glowy green shit. So we are kicking things off with lead belcher dry brush. This is going to be a heavy dry brush going up, down, left, right. I'm making sure every part of this has some lead belcher on it. It's not the most exciting stage, but it is definitely the quickest way to cover this model. Now, a lot of people will do, you need to have three coats of this on it first. I'm not, I'm doing one coat, heavy dry brush. I'm using my bog standard disgusting brush that has seen better days and really should be retired. But look at those bristles, they bend it in every direction. There is no way a part of this model can escape not getting hit with paint. And once we've got that done, we can let it dry and move on to the next stage. Right, so I've got the model covered. We then grab the Stormhost silver layer paint. And we're going to do it all again. This time a little bit neater. I'm going to focus on these raised areas, so his head, his shoulders, the arms, I'm not even going to bother about the leg that is behind the gun. I want that to look a bit darker anyway. As you can see, much quicker step. I'm just whipping around, hitting it up, brightening it up. I don't want it to be over the top shiny, but I definitely want it to be shiny. This isn't a beaten up Necron. These are, is it the Silent King? This is his dynasty. So... They take a bit more pride in their look. And I'm going to cover the barrel of the gun with it because once that green hits it, I want it to be sparkly. Also, I'm going to cover that up as well with some uh, dark colors. So it doesn't super matter that it's got that shine to it. And then after that, we're going to work on the gun and I'm using Levadon Blue. Now, if you've watched this channel long enough, there's a few things I dislike. One, metallic paints. I'm using metallic paints on this model. It actually hurts my soul, but they're Necrons, they're metallic -y. I'm just living with it. But I also hate using bog standard black, whether it's the Army Painter Grim Black, the Contrast Black Templar paint, Abaddon Black. I don't like it. I don't, I think it's going from my art days and trying to be a comic book artist dark blue was the way to go if you wanted to represent black black was for outlining dark dark blue was for your black or at least that is me in my mind that's why my judge dread models wear dark blue and rarely ever have full-on black uniforms it's just the way i imagine things so when i'm looking at this gun and i see it should be black i paint it levered on blue and I'm going to take my time here because this is an area where I want green to go. And even though I'm going to stick some white paint on this area, making sure I don't hit it with this blue will make my life so much easier later on. So I am still practicing with my super zoom lens that I have on the camera. I think it's given me a lot better results with my model painting videos. I hope you agree. Uh, but if I do drift in and out of focus, that's 100% on me. I'm trying to learn my distances still. As I mentioned, got to lighten up those green areas. So let's grab the Pallid Witch Flesh. And I'm going to hit up anywhere that I think is going to get some green. So the annoying eyeballs. See, my lens is so far out that my head can fit between the table and the lens. That's how far out it is. My baseball cap is once again sneaking into the picture. And I will at some point remember not to lean so far in. But there we go. We've got the eyes. We're now going to work on his little crest motif. And now I'm going to pick out all the globes and uh, power lines on his gun. It's going to be a slow, painful stage. So let's skip forward. And through the power of editing, we reach the final flesh, pallid flesh stages. Just cleaning up some tubing. Now, at this stage, I hummed and hard about the next step. I want my green to be nice and bright, so I decided now was the time to do the Nun Oil Wash. This feels like cheating in a jar. I'm 
some people love this stuff, some people hate it. I'm on the side of loving it, especially on metallics when I rarely use them. I just get to slap this on. It's going to find all the recesses. It's going to darken it down. It's going to give it some shadow. It's going to knock back the shine just a little bit, not over the top, but just enough to actually make this an enjoyable model for me. Like I said, I'm not a fan of metallic paint. I never have been. So any way that I can knock this back and reduce a bit of that shine, I'm going for it. I'm probably going to hit them up with matte varnish when I finally get to varnish all my figures at once. I'm very lazy on the varnish in front. I really should get on that, but one day, one day I'll varnish. I need a spray on so I can use my airbrush. My airbrush that's collecting dust for the last five years. Actually, I wonder if it even still works. But yeah, you get the idea. I'm slapping none oil down. There's no rhyme or reason. Slapping it on anywhere that it's white I'm trying to avoid. Because I want that to be nice and bright when I get to the green stage. But for now, just working my way around the model. Covering it in this wash. I'm going to let it fully dry before I go any further. Because if I don't, the green will flood into it. It will mess up the colour. And I'm going to be left feeling real angry. Just to give you a time frame, we're about nine minutes into this model with drying time for the uh, metallic. Which I don't think is bad for a single model. Imagine if you were batch painting a unit of ten. By the time you've done the tenth one, you're back to the first one. It should be dry. This is a very quick and easy paint scheme. I ain't doing anything special here. This has probably been shown off many a time. Now we are going to finish the model with some Tesseract Glow. So as you probably saw with the light and it changed, I gave this like an hour of sitting time because I really wanted that wash to be dry before I slapped down any other colors. So I'm sticking this Tesseract Green into the eye sockets, onto the power coils, the power tube, and the weird globes on the, uh, the barrel, and the chest icon. Look at it. It's going to pop with that pallid flesh underneath. I, I used this recently on an ABC War End. I was so impressed with how it looked. I think it's probably one of my favorite colors. And I want to use it more. This is one of those colors that it's, once again, it feels like cheating. You put it over white and it just makes this beautiful glowing green effect. I wish there was more of it that made like glowing blue because I would love to have used something like this on Stillhorn from the ABC Warriors, but I don't know if I can get away with a green color on them. As you can see, I really flooded the globes on the barrel because I wanted it to go into the, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, the, the gaps between the barrels and the globe because it kind of looks like it's glowing is at least the effect I'm going for. Hopefully I've achieved it. And at this stage, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to let it, I'm going to get some glamour shots once it is fully dry. I'm also going to ask you guys, as always, to like, comment, subscribe, share it on social media. Uh, give me abuse. Say hello. Actually, don't give me abuse. Don't give me abuse. I get enough of that already. Come say hello. Tell me what I should be painting. Tell me what you want to see more on the channel or less on the channel. And I will try my best to achieve that for you. But until my next video, enjoy the rotating wheel and some music. And I'll catch you very soon. Buh boy.